Okay, so here is a coin I picked up this week on eBay. You'll see a lot on there for the buy me price of 20 to 30 pounds. But if you weighed it out, you can easily pick one up for five to 10. Now this is a Victoria one penny model. It was made for four years between 1844 and 1848. But the coin was in use for 16 years before the new penny was introduced and this went out of circulation. Now this coin was designed by Joseph Moore who came from Birmingham. He was famous for designing medals and tokens. He won a prize at the Crystal Palace Great Exhibition of 1851. He had heard the government was thinking of changing the currency to make it smaller and lighter. So he thought he'd have a go at designing his own coins and then putting them out into circulation. The coin was loved so much by Joe Public that the Royal Mint had to come out and say we have nothing to do with this design, it's not an official government issue coin and it's not legal tender. But the Mint was so impressed with his design they did in fact offer him a job but for some reason he declined. I did read somewhere that when the coins first came out people shopping in Birmingham markets were so fascinated by the coins that the market traders ended up selling them for more than the coins value. When you have a coin made up of two different parts, they're called a bimetallic coin. I remember in the UK, the two pound coin first came out in 1988. Everyone loved the fact that it was two colours. So you can imagine in 1844, people would be fascinated with these new looking coins. I mean, it wasn't until 1982 when Italy became the first official country to mint a bimetallic coin. Now you're probably thinking like me, how could you get away with something like this? I would love it if everyone designed their own coins and put them out into circulation. But because he put the word model on the end, he could escape the copyright laws at the time. Now this coin is made from zinc and nickel. It has that plastic feel. It feels like, you know, children's toy money. You'll find that certain coins from different years and countries make an impact with society and get more love and attention than others. You'll see a few of these coins on eBay with holes drilled in them where people thought they looked so nice they would make them into a necklace charm. Now if you ever see one of these coins, keep your eyes peeled because there is a rare version where the penny is spelt P-E-N-N-E-Y. Now, I know a lot of coin collectors say do not clean coins, but when I got this coin, it was black. You couldn't, you couldn't see nothing, to be honest with you. And I've done the naughty thing of soaking it in ketchup for four hours and it come up good. I mean, I don't believe in having a coin collection where your coins are just black and they just look disgusting. If it if it's a rare coin, I understand why people do this, but I thought it, I'd like to see how it looked in 1944 when this was getting spent in Birmingham, you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you learned something. Keep on collecting. Cheers.